to kick off this series of uh, workshops um, that we're going to be, um, an adventure that we're going to be going on together to improve our skills on uh, um, both receiving and giving uh, feedback, a term that we will no longer use, you will find out. Uh, where this came from, just as a reminder, um, this is uh, one of the main recommendations of the communications KPI team that concluded its work uh, a couple of months ago, that we needed help with the specific ways of communicating to be able to uh, point out things that we think should be done differently. Um, actually, uh, for all of you who participated uh, in the KPI team's over the course of last year. This really comes uh, is a, a key addition and outcome of our KPI teams that we launched last February. If you remember, um, these were tackling uh, issues about connection and inclusion um, uh, of the team, of our global team, um, how we innovate and how we capture and celebrate innovation. And uh, the other one is um, problem solving, how teams can uh, identify problems uh, and find solutions together. And you can't do any of these things without being able, without communicating effectively and uh, envisioning uh, uh, and uh, change and uh, getting on board with uh, doing things differently. Um, uh, the senior team got a taste of uh, these workshops yesterday. It's uh, both uh, enlivening and fun. I think it's a wonderful investment uh, of our time on our on the Friday afternoons. I understand it's, uh, it is summer hours, but I think uh, it's going to be a, a fun and wonderful investment uh, of your time. I think it's not only uh, these are not just like work skills that are going to make us happier and more productive at work. I think these are our life skills that um, that everyone is going to be able to, to use for the rest of their career. So I think it's um, it's uh, a very exciting opportunity for us. Um, so, uh, our, uh, our guides and facilitators in this adventure, um, uh, uh, Jessica Price-Jones, uh, this is a London-based team, a collective called Website, and it's their, the team uh, to, that's going to help us is formed by uh, Jessica Price-Jones, uh, Joe Bishop, and uh, Dan Gilson, and they're going to introduce themselves. They're all uh, former business people who have gone on an adventure of their own uh, to acquire um, psychology and counseling skills to help uh, teams like us uh, work better and be better. So, Jess, take it away. Thank you so much, Paul. So, uh, in time-honored tradition, I'm going to share a few slides with you. So, website, that's the name of, of our collective, and this is who we are. So, just to say a little bit more about us. So, I'm Jess. I spent 10 years working in finance, and uh, in that, I, I worked for the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then I did a psychology degree to try and understand why I'd worked really well for some people, and other people I would have um, cheerfully not put them out if they were alight. So um, I was interested in, in finding out more about that. Um, we, are, we all have some kind of training in psychology, counseling, psychotherapy, therapeutic contexts, because quite often difficult conversations require us to dig quite deep. But what I'd spend my time doing is designing the kind of intervention you're going to all go through and delivering them as well as writing. And, and I write for, for example, The Times and I've published in books and I've got another book, which I haven't yet published because ah, I'm procrastinating. So um, that's that's what I spend my time doing and as well as doing executive education and coaching. So how we first came to work with Booth was through the executive MBA program and that office. And we've been working um, with that particular program, the Global Ember, for the last um, seven, eight years. So, and everybody in your team has some experience, has been to Chicago. Um, we haven't worked with you before, but we understand a little bit of what you do. So that's me. Um, Joe. let me turn it over to you. Hi, everyone. I'm Joe. I'm here in Cheshire in Buckinghamshire in the UK. 
this is my coaching cabin when possible i like to i'm an executive coach been working in learning and development and people development for way over 20 years now been really fortunate to been out to booth in chicago and your other campuses like jess my passion is about helping people to achieve their potential and for most of my career in people development i've i've been lucky enough to travel around and help organizations across a multitude of sectors to be happier at work and help people to achieve their potential so anything else you want to ask me just bang in chat and i'm really excited to be working with you looking forward to the sessions together shall i hand over to dan Awesome, thank you, thank you, Joe. I'm Dan. Uh, I, my background is in corporate finance and mergers and acquisitions. So I worked for quite a long time in the city, which is our, you know, what we call Wall Street at UBS and then Deutsche Bank. Before going in in house to corporates, where I worked in in uh, in strategy, mergers and acquisitions, business development at Tesco, which was at one time sort of the world's second largest retailer after Walmart, and then IHG, the Intercontinental Hotels that owns Holiday Inn. It's a British company that has a very American feel. I then retrained as an organizational and social psychology psychologist, uh, and I'm and I'm currently retraining again, or as a, as a as a psychodynamic psychotherapist, working as a psychotherapist in the NHS, our national healthcare service, as well as working as an executive coach and doing this uh, leadership development work with Jess and Joe. Thank you, thank you very much, Dan. So that's us, and and do feel free to reach out in any way by email, um, or by another means which I will explain to you shortly. So what is it that you're going to do? I think that you've seen this slide, but let me just have a walk through it very briefly again with you. So on the left hand side, you can see the work that we're doing with a senior team. And if you look at the white line at the bottom of that slide, just a third of the way up from the bottom, that is J July 1st, July 1. So we want to have done all the work with you by that date. It doesn't mean to say it's going to stop, stop, hard stop, because we're going to keep some conversations moving forward. But that's the date when we will have delivered the bulk of the program to you. And there's going to, just so that you're aware, there's going to be some time lag in this. So for example, those of you who are managers, you'll be slightly ahead of the senior team, as you can see. So while the senior team are, 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 are lagging a little bit, you will be in advance of them. So you will have skills delivered to you before they do. So just be aware of that um, in moving forward. If you say, well, no one's had a conversation with me, well, maybe it's because they haven't reached the same point as you. So this is the order that we're going to run everything in. And so you're going to be thinking largely about, first of all, how do you receive feed forward? And we're going to call it feed forward, not feedback because Joe and I when we first went through all the um, results of the KPI um, research that you had done we were slightly taken aback when we saw the term critical feedback because I don't know about you but I would welcome critical feedback as much as I might um, well let's not go there so I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel warm and, oh, wow, I'm going into something developmental here, something that's going to help me if I heard I was going to critical feedback. So we prefer feed forward. Why? Because when you're thinking about feedback, it's what you did wrong in the past. Feed forward is what you could do better in the future and how you might get to that point. So that's why we call it feed forward. So you're going to think about how you receive it first, then how you give it. And then how you might turn a conversation in, in, into a coaching conversation instead. And for those of you who are managers, you'll have an action learning set, which, which will involve thinking about what you experienced and how you might make that better. And if you've tried some stuff out and it kind of didn't quite work, okay, you bring that to the table and we have a conversation about it. So that's broadly what we're going to cover. Now you'll notice at the bottom it says WhatsApp, um, and that is a tool that you can find either on your phone or you can download it onto your laptop, and it's how we'll be communicating with you. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But what I want to also focus on is how you turn up in this overall process. So let's face it, learning can be difficult. Um, 
it's tough to learn new behaviors. It's difficult to have new kinds of conversations. And what we're going to be giving you is the language so you have a shared language, but um, it can be frustrating. So let's stick that on the table. And it's always framed by the, your mindset, the way you walk into this. So the intentions that you have. So do you intend to make the most of it? Do you intend to pick up new skills? Do you intend to get better at what can be a sensitive process? Um, do you want to build your capabilities and your confidence? Or are you there to show us how much you know, um, how we should do it? Um, now we can't answer how you show up for you, but it's just worth thinking, you know, what do I want to get out of this before we even start? Um, because your intentions will impact the experience you have. It's an old adage, but absolutely true. You get out what you put in. And please, let's just remember, as Paul said, it was you who catalyzed this whole process. So we are very much hoping that you turn up to get as much out of it as you can. So who will you be working with? Now, Joe is going to be working across the senior team, across the managers and across the colleagues. Dan is going to be working across the managers and colleagues. And I'm going to be available for you if you've got any concerns or worries. So I'm not going to be in that process with you other than I will be there to communicate with you in our WhatsApp groups. But if you've got another place that you want to come to outside of all of that, that's my role. So I am there to do that for you. So that's what you're covering. And so any questions, please pop them into chat as we go, because I would hate for us to get off this call for burning issues. So pop your questions into chat. And Joe, if I miss anything, Dan, please pick me up. So how are we going to work? So we're going to put you into WhatsApp groups, as I've said, and we'll divide you up and you're going to, we're going to stay in those groups for the learning process. And what we expect from you, please, to, because this will make our lives easier, is let us know if you can't make it. So all you'll have to do is pop us a message on your phone telling us, I'm going to be 10 minutes late, and then we can manage that for you and make sure that you get what you need, even if you are late. And if you can't come at all, we're going to record some of the programs and we'll, we'll work out how that works and what you're comfortable with. And that will probably just be the teaching pieces, not any breakout rooms, so that you can catch up if anybody needs to. And we're not gonna wait, we'll wait one, two minutes and then we've only got 90 minutes together. So we want to maximize that time, we won't be waiting. And we will ask you to do some work between times because with the best will in the world, you cannot change behavior over three 90 minute sessions. It requires some ongoing thought and input, and we want to help with that. And when you're in your sessions, please do turn your videos on. Um, of course, if you've got Wi-Fi connection issues, we totally understand, but there's something in this experience which requires some vulnerability, some humanity, some, um, revealing of the things that you find tough. But that's really difficult for us to connect with you if you're on um, video switched off. <laughs> so looking along the bottom, number five for me, this is one of the really key points about honoring confidentiality. If anybody goes away and says, ooh, you know what was said, you know what Jess said, and it's repeated, this whole thing will not work out. So could we please agree that we honor confidentiality? We don't gossip outside what's being said in the room and, and that we agree to hold that close. Um, what's done in Vegas stays in Vegas. Could you please commit to that in chat now? Just saying, yes, that works for me. So I, I'm expecting a whole host of yes, I will honor confidentiality, please. Thank you, Chanel. Thank you, everybody. I, I really appreciate that. Fabulous. So we like transparency, but we, we need to protect ourselves at the same time. Um, and talking of transparency, yesterday we recorded a little piece from the senior team se session, and we want to share that with you. So just to mix up the learning. So we, we want to share exactly what we can share. So, right, so number six, get a notebook for this learning. If you stick it down in your day book and mix it all up, 
you you won't build anything that's cohesive for you. So we really recommend that you get a notebook just for this learning. And then when you have some of these conversations, you write them down in there, you create yourself a learning journal because that is the best way to gauge your own progress. And then it's something that if you want to share with someone else that you can. So we really recommend you get a notebook or a journal and, and that's fine whether it's online, whether it's uh, in your phone, whatever works for you. Um, I have no clue what those two ticks are on number seven for Joe and Dan, so I'm gonna move swiftly over that <laughs> um, and get, get us into WhatsApp. So WhatsApp, and I just want to see a few more people. So I'm stretching out my second screen. So if I look up to the heavens and like I'm um, about to pass out, um, it's not the case I'm looking at my second screen. So can you just give me a thumbs up if any of you have used WhatsApp? Jenny, you're nodding. Okay, Sarah, you're nodding. Katie, you're nodding. Okay, so thank you. Yeah, okay, Penka. So what we're going to be working with WhatsApp um, and we're going to be working with WhatsApp because it's super simple to use. For those of you who use it, just give me a nod if you find it easy. Okay, thank you. So for those of you who don't use it, it is a really easy tool to use. And it means that you can get instant answers from us and we can give instant information to you. Um, so one of the things that I know you have a lot of is emails to deliver and to work out and to sort and triage. So we don't want to be adding to that. So if you, when you work with WhatsApp, you can just flick through to find things that you might have missed or you want to go back and have a look at, but there will be nothing for you to manage other than to get what you need. You can download a, a WhatsApp conversation. So when you decide and we all decide we want to keep it going or not, you can just download everything in order that you can keep it. And it stores everything in all one place. Um, and the main reason to use it is it's so accessible. So you can leave us voicemails. You can respond directly to one message, even if it was 10 messages before. You can respond privately if you don't want ever, anyone else to see it. So this is why we are going to use WhatsApp. So when you get the link, please do click on it in order that you can be invited to the group. And if you've got a problem in any way, shape or form with it, let us know and we'll work out how to do it because you can put it on your phone or you can put it on your laptop, up to you. So you don't have to have it on your phone if it doesn't work for you. But what it means is that when we are teaching you the tools, we can reinforce them for you using WhatsApp. And these are the tools that we're mainly, we're gonna spend our time focusing on. There'll be some others around the edges and I don't want to go into them in detail right now, but the tools that we're going to share with and that we hope will become, become common currency in your WeGrow conversations, we, number one is learn, and that is the feed forward tool. And we're going to be co-creating that together. So as we go through all the groups, we're going to be adding to a single document that will detail and outline the behaviors that you want and you expect as a department feed forward. We're going to be sharing with you the iGrow model and the iGrow model you can use for feed forward conversation to drive it um, and when you want to push the feed forward that's how you can you can use it in one way but if you want to do it in a slightly more collaborative way you can use it in a pull fashion and to use it instead in a coaching um, kind of manner instead. And keeps and starts will be the way that we give each other a feed forward for what someone should keep doing because it works well or what they should start doing because it might work better. So that's the real quick and easy way that we'll be giving each other feed forward. So you'll have a whole bunch of tools which you'll learn to use in the process. And um, so I just wanted to share with you what they look like so that we don't we, we want we want this to be as transparent as possible. So um, I reckon I've done more than my fair share of uh, chatting. And so now it's over to you for any questions. And if you haven't got any questions, let's um, I, I realize that you've got a long days ahead of you. So 
we're here, uh, Joe, Dan and I are going to stay on for anybody who wants to ask anything. But for those of you who don't, see you when we get going. Joe, Dan, is there anything you want to say before um, every, anyone, everyone goes? I just wanted to say, please don't be afraid to ask questions because if it's on your mind, it's probably on everybody's mind. So we'd be delighted to take any questions and, you know, please, please don't worry about that. And for me, just look for, looking forward to meeting you and getting started. All right, see you next time. <laughs>